Hello, my YouTube friends. Do you want fun, dynamic overlays in your live streams, but you don't know how to create them? Or maybe you just want a lot of choices that you can easily modify. I've got the perfect solution for you today. So let's get to it. If you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you don't miss any new content. Creating a great live stream overlay can be a real hassle and so time consuming. I've spent hours upon hours creating my live streaming assets. And to be honest, sometimes I spend all that time and they don't ever look very good or even professional. But with Envato Placeit, I can browse hundreds of different overlay templates for my live stream and every single one is completely editable. Let me show you a few examples of what sort of overlays Placeit offers and what you can do to customize them. Now, full disclosure, this video is sponsored by Envato Placeit, but when you see what you can do with it, you'll totally understand why I was so excited to work with them. I even completely rebranded my channel recently using nothing but place it. You can see that video right here. If you want to check out Place It and follow along with what I'm doing, there's a link in the description. So in Place It, you want to mouse over gaming and select OBS Stream Overlays. On the left, under Mockup, you see a few different choices. OBS Stream Overlay Maker is for general live streaming. It has starting soon, stream has ended cards, and overlays for a bunch of different styles. Below that are Twitch templates and webcam frames. So the first thing I want to show you is how to create any of these overlays. It's really easy. I just go into the overlay maker and I just select one of these. Every one of the overlays that you're going to find are going to have different features and different pieces that you can modify. I can change this frame so that it's the colors of my website or the colors that I like to use in my background. So I'm going to change it to blue and I'm going to change my icon colors to the usual yellow that I use on just about everything. You can see that doesn't actually change the text, but we can get to that in a little bit. Now I'm going to go up and I'm going to leave top donations a new follower because that makes it really easy to add those widgets in there. And up here in the top right, I'm going to add my name. And then down here in the bottom right, I'm going to add some different text. I don't use Twitch, so it doesn't make any sense to have a Twitch page listed there. But you can see a lot of these overlays are Twitch oriented. And that's good because Twitch is the main place that you're going to go to live stream, especially if you're a gamer. And boy, Placeit has a lot of overlays for gamers. Now I can just change up this information as it pertains to the social media stuff. So I'll update my Facebook and my Twitter and you can just turn these off so that people can't see because I don't use Discord or anything like that. And if I wanted to, I could add more text here, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to hide that. And you can see I can move this frame around here. This is generally going to be for your camera. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove this image. I don't need that in my background. And I'm going to change my text colors so that they fit in with what I like to have as my text colors. And then when I'm done and I have what I'm looking for, I can just go up and click download. And here is another style of overlay that you can choose from. There are literally hundreds of overlays that you can use. Now this is one that's more like just a camera frame. So I can go in here and I can change the text. I can put my little YouTube slogan down here and I can even upload a logo to put into this overlay by clicking upload logo and then I just have to browse to the location where I have my logo and then I crop it up and click the crop button and now I can just make this bigger or smaller put it wherever I want now over here on the right, I can change the graphics. So there's all kinds of different frames that you can use here. I remove her image, so it gives me a little more of an idea of what I'm looking at. And if I click save draft, so I can come back to it and modify it or edit it later. If you'll notice, I spelled my name wrong, so I'm gonna have to come back and modify and edit this later. Now you can see here that it creates two different downloads. One has a transparency and one has the black background. And you're going to want the transparencies if you're going to use this for the overlay. So make sure you click on the transparent background one to download it. And we're just going to take a look at one more overlay. This one is really simple. If you wanted to add widgets for a new subscriber and a new donation, it's really easy to do. You can see how ridiculously quick and easy it is to create all kinds of different overlays for your live streams using Placeit. I mean, really. 
Within a matter of 10 minutes, I created three. Now I want to show you how easy it is to create other types of screens that you would use on your live stream. In this case, the starting soon screen. So here I have one loaded up that I kind of like. And of course I want to change it so it's branded in my own colors. Wow, so that's perfect. It totally matches my branding. I absolutely love it. And this is something that'll play before the stream starts. So it's basically just a hold screen that's gonna loop at the beginning of the video. So I can click this X and click update the slide and now it's gonna process and show me what the slide is gonna look like when it's actually playing on the stream. And that looks absolutely awesome. I totally love it. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna select the 0.5 on the playback speed which is gonna give me a 20 second video. It just slows it down. And I think if it's looping, that will be a lot less annoying. Then I'm gonna go ahead into the play all and play the slide back. And then I'm gonna click download. Really easy and really awesome. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and select one of these countdown videos. And this is something that I'm going to play over top of my live stream right before it starts. And I'm gonna put some text in here, change out the logo. And I think there's really not a whole heck of a lot we need to do after this. I just size up the logo and click crop. And I'm going to change the playback speed on this as well so it's a little bit longer of a video. I'm going to click this and update the slide again. You can see on the right there are a bunch of different countdown videos that you can select here. Once the slide is finished processing, we get to take a look at what it's going to look like. And I really like that. I absolutely love how the logo appears. I think that's totally cool. So I'm going to go ahead and click play all, let the slide process. And now we have a countdown slide that's ready to go for our live stream. The next thing I want to do is create a branding video. This is something I would use right after the countdown while my live stream is loading up. So I select one of the branding videos that I kind of like and I can change all the text right up here. Then I'm going to upload my logo image and I'm going to crop it up so it fits where I want it to go. And then click crop. Now I don't really like how the background is black here because it kind of doesn't show my text right. And then I'm going to just click the X and go to the preview and update the slide. And let's take a look at what this is going to look like. Oh yeah, I really like that. So I'm just going to click play all and of course that processes the video and when the processing is done, click download and boom. Now we have our branding bumper. Another bumper that I like to have is one that's in between me talking on the screen and adding a guest. This is something that I can play while I'm getting the screen all squared away to add the guests. So it's really convenient and easy to have. For this, I'm gonna use this Black Friday sale video. I kinda of like how it has cameras in there and all that kind of stuff. And I'm just gonna change the text so it matches what I'm trying to say. And I can loop this video while I'm setting up my guest screens during the live stream so that people kind of don't see what's going on. And once I'm done, I can click it and load the preview, check it out. And that looks pretty good. Once I update the slide, I like it. That's exactly what I'm looking for. So I click play all and I can play the video with the audio. And like I said, you don't have to use the audio. You can put whatever audio you want if you're planning to loop the video. Sometimes that audio can be just a little bit annoying. And now we have an add a guest video overlay. Very cool. The last moving overlay I'm going to create is this one right here. This is going to tell my audience that the stream is over. They just missed it. Once it's all set, I just click this play all. It processes the video and I can see it right there. The last piece to this end card that I want to add is a static end card. And almost every end card that you can find that says the stream is ended has a static version as well. And it's just an image. So I can load this up and I can go in here and I can change the text to exactly what it was in the video. And that way when the video is over, this static image just shows there. I'm going to change the colors so it looks just like my video. And once I'm done, I'm gonna go ahead and save the draft and download it. And now I think we have everything we need to pull off a pretty doggone epic live stream. Now that we have all these cool overlays created, let's take a look at how we're gonna add these to create our live stream. So we're gonna go into OBS, and the first thing I'm gonna do is change the name of this scene 
and I'm going to call it starting soon. Then I'm going to click the plus and go to media source. And then I'm going to call this media source starting soon video. Click OK. Then I'm going to go and find my video that I just created and place it. And it's this starting soon place it video right here. I want to set this to a loop because I may want to use this for five minutes or so before the live stream starts. And then I'm going to click OK. And there is our starting soon screen. Now let's say for the sake of discussion that you don't want to use the audio file that's in starting soon because it's going to possibly loop for a while and looping every 20 seconds with the exact same audio can be kind of annoying. Well, what I do in this case is I'm going to just mute the audio here, click the plus, go to media sources, and I'll call this starting music, click OK. Then I'm just going to browse to the location of an MP3 file or whatever I want to use for my starting music. I'm going to click that loop button and then I'm going to click OK. So now we have music underneath starting soon that's not going to loop every time the video does. It's probably going to be a bit less annoying. Next, I'm going to go and create our next scene. And this scene is going to be the countdown timer. So I'm just going to click the plus next to scenes, call this one countdown. Then I'm going to click the plus under sources and go to media source. I'm going to call this one countdown video and click OK. Then I just want to browse to the location of that countdown video and click open. I'm not going to loop this one, so we're good. I can just click OK and there's our countdown video. Next, I'm going to add my branding sequence. Then I'm going to click the plus under sources for the branding scene and I'm going to go to my media source once again. I'm going to call this one branding video. Then I'm going to browse to the file and select it. And I don't want this one to loop either, so I'm going to click OK. And there is our branding video. Now we're going to add our first overlay of the sequence and I'm going to click the plus under scenes and add my overlay one. Click OK. Then under sources, I'm going to go to image and I'm going to go and select my overlay one. And there we go. Click OK. Now I'll resize it to the size of my canvas. Now I want to add my camera, so I'll click the plus again. I'm going to go to video capture device. I'm going to call this one my cam. Then I am going to set up my camera the way I normally would. I'm going to go down here and choose to use a custom audio device so I can select the proper microphone for my camera. Now I want to go ahead and select the camera in the sources window and move it below my image. Then I'm going to resize my camera so it fits in this little box down here that is the camera window. So I size it up and then I'm going to use the alt key with the mouse and crop this so it fits right inside this camera window right here. Now that I've done that, what I want to do is go ahead and add some sort of tutorial screen in the background. And then I'm going to select window capture and I'm going to call this window capture tutorial. Click OK. And the Chrome tab I'm looking for is right here already. So I'm just going to click OK. And then I'm going to select it and move it down below all of my other layers. So you can see my frame is in there and the tutorial is in there. Everything is in there. This overlay is set up exactly the way that I would want to see it. So let's add our second overlay. I'm going to call this one overlay two and click OK. And then under overlay two, I'm going to click the plus and go to image. And this image two is fine. And I'm going to leave it named image two and click OK. Now I'm just going to browse to the location of that image, select it click open and then click OK. Looking pretty cool. I'm going to click the plus again, go to video capture device and I'm just going to use the existing my cam that's already there and I'm going to select my cam and move it down below the overlay and there we go. That looks all right and I'm going to just size up my camera a little bit so that I have a little more room inside this box here. We'll size it up, move it around. That looks pretty good. Now we have our second overlay all set. So we're going to click the plus in scenes and we're going to call this one overlay three and click OK. And for this overlay, I'm going to click the plus once again, go to image. Image three is fine. We're going to browse, select our overlay three, open it up. And this looks pretty good. We're going to click OK. Now I'm going to click the plus and I'm going to add my video camera once again and I can just add the existing, go to my cam and click OK. 
and then I just move it below our overlay layer and now we're all set that one looks good doesn't need any tweaking whatsoever perfect now we have our three overlays set up let's go ahead and add our add a guest bumper so I'm gonna click the plus under scenes I'm gonna call this one guest bumper and click OK then I'm gonna click the plus under sources and go to media source I'm gonna call this one guest bumper video and click OK now this one I do want looping and I'm going to click browse and browse to the bumper source here there we go and click OK now for this one you might want to add background music as well since it's going to be looping while you're adding your guests to another scene that you're going to add so you just click the plus and go to media source and you can add that it's not a problem at all after this we're gonna go ahead and add our closing scene so I'm gonna click the plus under scenes and I'm gonna call this one end stream and click OK now under sources I'm gonna click the plus and go to media source and I'm gonna call this one end stream video and click OK then I just click browse find my end video click OK then I can click OK once again and there's my end video now I do have a static end screen card that's going to show after the video is run so I'm gonna go ahead and click the plus under sources again and go to image and I'm gonna call this image end screen static and I'm gonna browse and find the image and click open and we're good now I just want to move that static image below the video and what's gonna happen here is when the video plays as soon as it's finished the static screen will be shown really really awesome so now I want to show you exactly how I would use all these in order to have a live stream so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start out on the starting soon screen and this is going to play for as long as I want it to play in order for people to collect in my live stream and be ready as soon as I'm ready I'm going to click this countdown button and we're going to move on to the countdown for the beginning of the stream as soon as that's done I'll click on my branding video and it will run the branding video and this just gets everybody excited and ready for the stream to start and as soon as this is finished I will click on the overlay button it will transition me to the live stream and this is where I am on now I can switch between any of the three overlays that I have depending upon whether I'm doing a tutorial or what layout I want with my screen and it's a lot of fun to play around with all these different sorts of overlays if I wanted to add a guest the next thing I might do is click the guest bumper and I can let this play for as long as I want while I'm adding guests on another scene. I would use something like studio mode in order to do this. Then when the guests are ready, I flip back over into my guest screen, which I was just creating while the guest bumper was on. And then of course we have our end screen at the end of our particular live stream. You just click on end stream and it's gonna play that card with the music and then after that it's just gonna go to the static card there is a link in the description to place it if you want to check it out and by using those links you're actually going to get a discount as well and you're not going to believe how many more things that I didn't even show you that you can use on YouTube are there things like end screen cards and thumbnail templates and all kinds of other amazing stuff definitely check it out the link is in the description if you want to see how I rebranded my entire channel using place it check this video out and if you're always looking for tools tips and tricks to help make you a better youtuber subscribe to the channel my name is michael fire jr thank you so much for watching have a great day and i'll see you in the next one